So you're looking for a solo lobby that's going to fix your animal spawns, that's going to fix your problem with camp not spawning, that's going to allow you to run deliveries without any PvP, because you and your buddies are the only people that are going to be on the server. You see right now, I have 100 goods, I'm about to fire up a $625 delivery, I just showed you a moment ago, it's only me and one other person on the server, I'm going to make this delivery, at the end you're going to see again, I'm going to show you the player menu, and it's still just him and I on the server. But the key to this is he stays in camp when I make the run. And how we got onto a solo server in the first place was by running missions until one of us got on a solo server. And a solo session, you can tell by going into the player menu, and you're the only person in the player menu. That's when you know you're in a solo session. And once one of you manages to get in a solo session, the other one joins on them, calls their camp out, and goes to their camp. As long as one person is in their camp, then the session will be held for all. Alternatively to somebody being in their camp is as long as one person is running a mission, then the server will be locked in for all. And that's kind of key here because now we can run missions directly out of camp and that's supply missions. So what we want to do is we want to glitch crypts. There's a glitch in the game right now that allows you to keep running a supply mission over and over and over again. And that will let you leave camp for like a 10 to 15 minute period, go do some hunting, come back, fill your materials up, always be stocked with supplies. You can make some extra XP off of it if you want to actually complete the supply mission. If you don't want the XP... If you're just interested in fixing the game so that animals spawn again, so your camp spawns again, so the game's working again, then you just fail the supply mission and just enjoy the fact that you can go hunting again. And enjoy the fact that this glitch is fixing the game for you. And that's really why I'm featuring it, because this glitch is more of a fix than it is a breaking of the game. Like, I don't usually show glitches that are like this extreme. But because the game is already in a broken state, this glitch kind of fixes it and allows you to play again. and allows you to get back in and enjoy Red Dead the way it should be. Now, if you're paying attention, you saw I completed the $625 delivery. I fast traveled back to my camp. I broke the posse up. My buddy, he's running over to his camp right now. And he's doing that because we've already glitched his crypts. So he's ran over to start doing supply missions so he can run around and go back to hunting. And now I'm going to glitch my crypts. This we did earlier in the stream. This is all from a live stream. And I'm going to demonstrate how we glitch crypts. Okay, right now you can see my supplies are at zero. My production is halted. Now the key here is I need my buddy to be in the same state for his camp. Where his supplies are at zero and his production is halted as well. And what I do is I join on him, I join his posse, we run a supply mission out of his camp. Upon completing that mission, my camp also receives supplies. So you can see the last time I'm talking to Crips here, it says I have zero supplies and everything's halted. Now I'm going to go through a supply mission with a friend. We're going to get it done. And then afterwards, I'm going to run back to my camp. And it's going to show production is active. And that I have 100% supplies. But it's also going to say halted. So how can it be active and halted? Well, it's actually active. It's, it's producing goods. But because it says halted, it gives me an option to do another supply mission. And like I was saying before, if you manage to sneak yourself into a solo lobby, now you're in camp, so you know you're locked into that lobby because you're staying in camp, and you start a mission, and that allows you to leave camp. Because like I said, if you're either in camp or in a mission, then you're locked into the lobby. So you're, you're in camp, you start the mission, now you can leave your camp, go do some hunting, come back to your camp before the mission's over, and then the mission can end, and you're, now you're in your camp. So you're always in a state where you're either in your camp or in a mission. 
and you'll remain in the lobby. And that goes for anybody on that server with you. Like, you, you bring your friends in, as long as one of you is at your own camp. Like, if we're not in the same posse, like, he's going to have his camp up, I'm going to have my camp up. He has to be in his own, own camp. He can't come over and be in my camp. That won't necessarily work. I mean, it may or may not, but the guarantee is you have to be in your own camp. Or one of you has to be running a mission. You don't have to be both running missions, but as long as one of you are, then you're good. But honestly, it's better if you can just get everybody, have their crypts glitched to where everybody can be running their own supply missions continually every time they leave camp. That helps protect from, you know, the whole thing going haywire and everybody getting pushed into a public lobby is if everybody is doing the best they can to ensure that that lobby stays locked up. Now you can see here, production halted, it says, but up in the top right corner, operational. I'm about to switch my overlays. You're going to see in the bottom right corner, the start resupply mission button is available for me to activate a supply mission. Ignore the overlay in the upper left corner. That's from an old stream. We don't need to pay attention to that. You want to pay attention to the bottom right corner in a moment. I'm going to relieve. Okay, now you see there? The A is lit up. I can hold A down. I can start a supply mission even though I'm operational and have full supplies. And that will allow me, while in a solo mission, to leave my camp and go do some hunting and bring those materials back to Crip. And it, you know, it fixes the game because the game's so broken right now. This actually fixes it. It's incredible. To be able to run around and get animals again like the way it should be. Like finally you get in and do this and you're just like, man, if the game only ran like this all the time, it would just be loved by everyone. It's so good. I can't wait for Rockstar to fix things so we don't have to go through these, jumping through these hoops just to play the, the game the way it should be. But in the meantime, we can do this to fix it ourselves. I really hope that you guys find like some, some use for this that's productive and positive i don't really think that it's the best thing to use this glitch in order to farm a whole bunch of xp i mean like you're you're kind of stealing content from yourself if you do that but use this glitch to fix the game to make it better and more fun for sure do that and you'll be able to be in a solo lobby with your friends you don't have to worry about griefers it's a real good time thanks everyone for viewing commenting subscribing liking sharing Especially thank you everyone who's joined and donated. I appreciate you all. I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.